Hi, I'm U.S. Congresswoman Debbie Lesko from the great state of Arizona. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you today. I am an original co-sponsor of House Resolution 118, a resolution in the U.S. House of Representatives to express support for the Iranian people and their desire for a democratic, secular, non-nuclear Republic of Iran. The current regime in Tehran poses an unquestionable threat to international security and has perpetrated unthinkable acts of terror and egregious human rights violations. House Resolution 118 condemns the killings that occurred in 1988 as a result of the horrific death commissions, which were meant to brutally eliminate the regime's opponents. Our resolution supports an international investigation into these killings and also condemns the numerous instances of international terror plots backed by Tehran. I support the Iranian people's desire for a government that respects free elections, the right to vote, religious freedom, equality for women, and a free market economy. It is a terrible tragedy that the current Iranian government is denying its citizens these basic human rights. I am also working with my colleagues here in the U.S. Congress to ensure U.S. foreign policy is aimed toward achieving a non-nuclear Iran. I have pushed back against the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or Iran nuclear deal, which does nothing to prevent Tehran from building up its nuclear arsenal. I am also a co-sponsor of the Maximum Pressure Act, the toughest approach yet to preventing Tehran from building nuclear weapons. My congressional colleagues and I will continue to support the U.S. working with our European allies to hold Iran accountable for its malign activities, and we continue to support the Iranian people's desire for a democratic Iran that promotes equality and respects human rights.